ESPN has fired a huge number of its people. The sports channel's audience reacted by turning off his television in disgust. Reports say the firings include over 100 on-air personalities, dozens of behind-the-scenes staff, and several people who just happened to be walking by the studio. ESPN will also be changing its slogan from the worldwide leader in sports to offices for rent plus memorabilia cheap. The firings come after many viewers complained that the sports channel had become overly political and left-wing. For some reason, the audience didn't seem to enjoy having their political opinions denigrated by a group of men who never managed to do anything more with their lives than comment on other people's sporting achievements. But ESPN president Skip Dunderhead said politics had nothing to do with the drop in audience. He told reporters, quote, I'm sure our viewers love to have us explain to them how ignorant and racist they are. I'm sure they wouldn't want us to just give them the game scores and then shut the hell up. That wouldn't make any sense, unquote. ESPN... ESPN commentator Jockey Clueless, host of the weekly show Basketball Roundup Donald Trump Stinks, says he can't understand why his audience plummeted to 17 people after the episode entitled LeBron James Discusses How Much I Think Donald Trump Stinks. Jockey issued a statement saying, quote, It has been a deep honor to serve the audience of ESPN by telling them what a crappy president they elected because they're such a bunch of ill-educated slobs. If I've brought even a little joy into the lives of the fascist Trump-sucking Trump scum who used to watch this channel, I feel my time here has been well spent, unquote. Another ESPN show host, Chip Hateful, says he was totally taken aback by his firing and by the cancellation of his football show, Hey Football Players, Stop Praying There Is No God. In a farewell statement at the end of the final episode, Chip said, quote, I know many of you appreciated what a valuable service I provided by debunking your deeply held faith with the light of my superior wisdom. I'm sure it was obvious to you that a man who can recite the entire roster of the 1957 Cleveland Browns should be your go-to guide on the big theological questions. Every week, I try to bring you at least one more example of how praying doesn't change anything. After all, if there really were a God, then he would have given me talent and athleticism instead of making me a five foot seven nebbish who never got picked for the team in school unless the teacher said everyone had to play, unquote. I know we here at the Andrew Claven Show will sorely miss having our beliefs ridiculed by the ESPN lineup, and we can only say to all those who are fired, we're sorry to see you go and stay out. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is the Andrew Claven Show.